Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. I hope all of you are fine and enjoying your good health and studies at your homes. Before starting our lesson, let's talk about our modern lesson. Today our modern lesson is say Alhamdulillah. My dear kids, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us so many blessings. He has blessed us food, water, homes, family. We can live, we can eat, we can walk, we can run. It means so many blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what should we do? We should say Alhamdulillah. We should be thankful to all the things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us. Because all praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should say Alhamdulillah for all the things He has given to us. We should never try to find any fault in anything He has given to us. I am your SST teacher, Ma'am Shiza. My dear students, as we know, what do all living things need to live or to survive? Living things need air, water, food and shelter. And today we will talk about shelter. Now what is shelter? Shelter is a protective place or a safe place where we can live or where we can be keep ourselves safe from any danger and we can keep ourselves comfortable okay now why it is important for us to have safe place or a protective place my dear students these protective places save us from these weathers just like a hot day a rain a very cold day and from strong wind in other words our protective places save us from these weathers okay not only human beings need safe place to live animals and birds also need some safe places to live to survive in this world here we can see a picture a bird is sitting in a nest so nest is a safe place for these birds dear students our pets also need some safe place to live whenever they are living with us we give them a shelter or a safe place to live we give them a particular area where they can live so that they can live freely and easily with us students we can see so many places around us just like school fire station library hospitals police stations and we go there whenever we are in need of these places just like we if we want to learn anything we go to school if we are ill we go to hospitals if we want to learn any book we go to library but in these places we can go for a very short time or for a particular time we cannot live there permanent so what we need what would be that place where we can be safe or we can feel ourselves self comfortable and we can live there freely where do we live with our families we live in house we live in our houses with our families we live there comfortably and we live there freely because house is a safe place for us house is a shelter for us house is a protective place for us we live in a house with our families so my dear students today we are going to start our unit number five that is place to live place to live 
We can see so many houses around us. They all have different colors, different shapes and different structures. But they all are houses and these all are protective place for all of us. We all have our own house and our family live with us in our houses. Houses are having different shapes because they save us from weather. So houses are made actually according to the weather condition of the particular area or the particular region. And the most important thing is houses are made up of mud some made up of cement and some made up of wood okay my dear students when we talk about house then it means we are talking about only the structure of the house or only the house there is no any people but if we talk about home we say we live in our homes that means we are living with our families and our families are the people so home is a place where people live together or permanently but house is the place where no people live but it becomes home whenever people live there as I have talked about that some houses are made up of mud, some made up of cement, some made up of wood or bricks. So in villages we can see houses are made up of mud. In picture we can see buildings and apartments. So apartments are new kind of homes. These are the large buildings with small living space. In cities, houses are made up of bricks and cement. In the hilly areas or the northern areas of Pakistan, their houses are made up of steel, stone or wood. In a rainy and snowy areas, the houses are built with sloped roofs so that it would be more safe from rain and snow in a very cold area some people make this kind of house it is called igloo and it is built from the blocks of the solid snow it is made up of snow my dear kids house is a big blessing of Allah so we should take care of this we should take care of our homes we should keep it neat and clean we should clean it and we should throw all the wrappers or the trash into the dustbin okay now open your SST reading books page 27 lesson number 5 place to live write cw and date on the top of the page and put your fingers on a first line read after me a house is a place where we live we live in houses with our families houses protect us from rain cold and hot weather houses protect P R O T E C T protect us from rain, cold, and hot weather. W E A T A G R weather. Now come on the next line. Houses are made up of cement, mud, and wood. They are built according to the weather conditions. According to the weather conditions of the region. R E G I O N region. Now come on the next line. In villages, houses are made of 
mud. M U D mud. In villages, houses are made of mud. Now come on a info corner. Apartments are new kind of homes. Apartments are new kind of homes. They are large buildings with small living space. S P A C E space. Come on page twenty eight. Write down C W and date on the top of the page, and put your fingers on the first line. In cities, houses are made of bricks. B R I C K S bricks and cement. C E M E N T cement. In cities, houses are made of bricks and cement. In hilly areas, H I double L Y hilly areas, A R E A S areas, houses are made of stones, steel, and wood. Stones, steel, S T double E L steel, and wood. In rainy and snowy areas, houses are built with sloped roofs. S L O P E D sloped. R double O F S roofs, slope roofs, sloped means slant. In rainy and snowy areas, houses are built with sloped roofs. Igloos, igloos are made of snow. They are built in cold areas. They are built B U I L T built in cold areas. We should keep our homes clean. We should throw T H R O W throw the waste W A S T E waste in the basket B A S K E T basket. We should throw the waste in the basket. My dear students, thank you so much. Allah Hafiz and take care of yourself.